Hello, everyone. Hello. Welcome back to my channel. Always so happy and thrilled to find you here. I upload on Mondays and Thursdays and then a short video on Friday to help kick off our weekend. Hope you uh, have subscribed already to my channel. And I hope to find you here when I get to the end of this video so that you can click like, but you can click like and subscribe anytime while watching it. I wanted to address the topic of tonic versus toxic relationships, in particular, um, probably moving down the road further. I'll want to do a bit longer video on this overuse, I think, over overuse of describing a relationship you're just getting out of to as toxic, or he was toxic, or she was just too toxic, and not having a reason to give other than that or even acknowledge your part as how that turned out. And maybe the, you're the one who's toxic. So having said that, um, oftentimes there becomes a popularization of a word, like the whole woke society. And I did a three-part video on that last year on woke consciousness. It's just, being woke has nothing to do with the way that it is often just liberally used. I mean, just she's woke or he's woke on that because they know a little something about a little something. It's, to be woke is far deeper than that. And it is also an insult to assume that you are woke when you're not. So let's just get that straight. <laughs> Slow yourself down. Um, but anyway, and having said that, because I hear this toxic so often, I said, you know, do we even realize what toxic means? Like, what does that, what does that mean? And how can you move from a loving, which at one point had to be in a relationship of interest to you, to the point that the whole thing just got toxic? So did it turn toxic? Or was it toxic before and you didn't recognize? Or did you bring some toxicity into it yourself? Because none of us are perfect. And we have to learn to um, take the merchandise we have in a person as is and adjust it for us through our bonding together with the person. Not change the person for us and have the person change us for them, but as a unit, how we come together is what I'm saying. But when I hear the people say that I'm no longer dating that person or we're getting a divorce because he or she was just toxic. I think to myself, what are a few examples that would make you qualify that person as toxic? So let's examine the word toxic. First of all, the word toxic means poisonous. It means a chemical substance that can be harmful to you. Um, if you go to a ravine or you go to, let's say, a public place where you shouldn't enter, it can be poisonous. There's a hazardous sign that says, do not enter toxic. And so toxicity is like really a bad thing. So for this person to be called toxic, they, they're really a bad thing. I look for relationships that are tonic instead of toxic. So instead of T-O-X-I-C, it's T-O-N-I-C. Because what is a tonic? A tonic is something that brings you pleasure. It is, tonic is, that's why you say gin and tonic, but tonic is something that uh, makes you stronger. It strengthens you. It supports you. It brings out the best in you. So when you move from a tonic relationship to a toxic relationship, either you never had a tonic one to begin with because tonic rarely ever becomes toxic and toxic rarely ever becomes tonic because the two are juxtaposed completely opposite, negative and positive. So that's typically not gonna happen. So it takes us back to our choice in the person, okay? So let's look at, I want to, I think I pulled it up. Yeah, I did. <laughs> I'm going to need my glasses. Let's see 
how the word tonic, I mean toxic, let's see, toxic is defined. Toxic, just as I, well, just as I said, a poisonous substance is very harmful or unpleasant, including hazardous chemical substance, mixtures of substances that can damage an organism. Toxicity can refer to an effect on a whole organism, system, animal, bacteria, planet, or even a person. A toxic person is someone who brings conflict and negativity to your life. They're often controlling, manipulative, and even abusive. So now that defines toxic. So if you were in a toxic relationship or you end up with saying that person was toxic, how is it that you attracted that person? And if you say every relationship is toxic, what is the commonality in, in your part that makes it that way um, is what I'm saying. So, so accountability, your part in the thing is what I'm saying. I can see if perhaps we met someone who presupposed themselves as a good catch. And it does take time to what I call wonderment a person, wonder about them, spend time with them, get to know them, learn about their little quibbles and bits, things that they prefer not, things that they actually like, things that are pleasurable to them along the way. And this could take some time. But along that journey, you will see signs that are uncomfortable or unpleasant to you. It is your choice to stay in that and determine how much of that you can or will not take before it becomes toxic. Once you start seeing, once you start seeing signs of toxicity, you're free to flee. So how is it that you stayed? is what I'm saying, in the relationship again and again and again with a different person again. And, and at the end, you say they're all toxic. It's It seems like it's just the overuse of the word is what I'm saying. Now, the, maybe the person was toxic and you got out quick. Thank goodness. But if you pick someone like that again, it's your picking of the person is you pick, you're, attra you're attracting that. So you have to change what you're attracting and so that you not have that again. Now let's look at the word tonic. Now I prefer tonic. Let's look at the word tonic. And I said, oh my gosh, I do need my glasses. Tonic. Let's define tonic. Tonic, a medicine or substance that invigorates or strengthens you. It gives more of a cheerful, mentally, morally, or physically encounter with its agent, meaning the person it's coming to. A tonic is anything that makes you feel stronger, more cheerful, more enthusiastic, and more happy. More happy. It actually says more happy. That should just say happier. I should be correcting Google. <laughs> I'm correcting. More happy is you happier. But anyway, so that's what tonic is. So I believe that we should all pursue a relationship that is T O N I C instead of T O X I C. Because when you don't, the T O X will become an X because who can handle toxicity for long periods of time? Right? We all want to be happy. I hope you're happy in your relationships. I just wanted to put that out there. If you've gotten this far, please click like. Please click subscribe. I hope you have a happy day. And I'll see you next time. Bye.